What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm here to do a follow-up service for rats. This was a really, really severe rat infestation when I was here just about three weeks ago. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how everything looks and what I'm doing today. I put some rodent bait stations around the outside of the house here and I wanted to show you what they looked like. Inside of this rodent bait station, I put two JT Eaton Jaws traps and unfortunately the rats were smarter than the traps. They were able to close the traps without getting caught inside them and there is even gnawing all over, see right here, all that gnawing on this trap. That's from the rats. I baited it with peanut butter and they somehow closed the trap and then continued to just chew and chew and chew on these traps trying to get all the last pieces of peanut butter out of there. So all that right there is rat gnawings. And on the top, if you look at these big old rat droppings right there and the paper where they were, sh were shredding up. So I honestly am not sure what happened with these jaw traps. They, they just did not work properly, unfortunately. Over here on the side behind the station, they made a tunnel. The rats made a tunnel. So these are Norway rats. They're expert, expert diggers. They dug up all of this here and made a tunnel under the trap into the crawl space entrance right here. That's where we're going next into the crawl space and we're going to see how everything looks in the crawl space. Wanted to remind you to please, please destroy the like button. If you like this video, it would help me out a ton. Gotta get my flashlight respirator and we got Leafatech Resolve my spate right here. We're going into the crawl space now. Also guys, I set up an Amazon storefront. There are all kinds of cool products that I use every day. For example, my respirator is on there. I did a lot of research figuring out the best respirator for pest control professionals. This is linked on there. The crawl suit I'm wearing right now is linked on there. The gloves I'm wearing right now is linked on there. All kinds of stuff I use every single day. If you're interested, I get a small, small commission from each of the sales and I would really, really appreciate it. If you need a new respirator, just use the link in the description. Let's go ahead and go inside the crawl space. I cannot emphasize how important follow-ups are for almost all pest control services. Even though I am a professional with six years experience and the best pest control products available on the market, it even takes me multiple treatments to get rid of some of these pests. Here I've got one of my other bait stations I use. I put rat bait inside of here. So we're going to open this up and see how it looks. This is another just different kind of rodent bait station. It's called a top loader. So the bait stays up in this compartment and the rats enter through here. On this bait station, I used three different kinds of bait last time. And honestly, there is absolutely no feeding on this station. That's not a good sign. Hopefully the rats, um, I found my other bait stations. I also just put some bait loose in the crawl space here, but I am going to go ahead and refill this bait station. While I'm refilling the bait station, guys, today's video is sponsored by BrioStack. BrioStack is the pest control software that I use to make sure my company runs smoothly. I've been with BrioStack for almost four years. Their software is incredible. Their customer service is incredible. Let's go ahead and crawl back a little further. See what we can see. Today's service is a follow-up service, so it's likely I won't be back to this customer's house. I'm going to be taking these rodent bait stations with me because, well, they're expensive and I'm going to be doing just a baiting service in the crawl space. Remember in the last video, there were a ton of camel crickets back there. I wonder if they're still back there. I'm here at this rodent bait station. Let's go ahead and crack it open and see how it looks. Hopefully there's some more activity here. I'm also going to be looking for any of the bait blocks I put out last time see if the rats found the loose bait blocks. I'm going to just be putting the Resolve soft bait out in the crawl space today. That's going to finish off whatever population of these rats is left. We do have just a little bit of chewing on the very bottom bait block there. So that's good, the, the rats did find this bait. I really cannot emphasize how many rat droppings I have found inside this crawl space. These rats have been in this crawl space for a very, very long time. All right, I'm gonna go just a little further back where I saw some more activity and put some more bait back there and I'll show you how it looks. Last time I was in this crawl space, I put the Resolve soft bait blocks in all kinds of areas throughout the crawl space. 
in particular areas. I remember putting these bait blocks and they are completely gone. So that is a good sign. For example, I put this bait block here next to the cinder block pier and the bait is nowhere to be found now. This is because the rats will eat the bait entirely or drag it further into their burrow. That means that the rats have found the bait and like I said, the rats are going to find the bait. They have a huge, huge foraging area up to 100 yards from their main base they're going to forage so they're going to find this bait eventually it's just a matter of time and especially in the winter time when there are not many other food sources these rats are going to love 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 this bait and i wanted to show you guys another cool thing i found before we end today's video okay the last thing i found was more evidence that these rats are feeding on human food these are candy wrappers what is this i don't know what kind of Oh, maybe like a ramen wrapper? Maybe, but anyways. That is just more evidence that these rats are feeding on the food that these humans are dropping inside their house. These rats are going inside the house, likely at night. They're foraging around the kitchen while the humans are asleep, finding food, bringing it back down here into their nest, into their crawl space. So if you have a rat problem, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please destroy the like button, and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Peace.